Okay, so now that we've captured all these rats, the most important thing is that you have a fan. Um, I put these up on drying racks and you want to try to dry them. A lot of these are dry, are getting close to dry. Um, the ones that are dry, you know, I go ahead and I stack up here <clears throat> and those are the ones that I'm going to set up to skin and I'll use this uh, platform right here. So I'm going to put this here and hopefully that's going to be able to film everything. I don't know if you can hear me or not. So, first things first, you really want to make sure that you put on uh, some protective gear. Uh, it's just, it's a, a daunting task, but. So I tie on an apron. Then I put on gloves. And from start to finish, it takes me about three minutes to do a wrap. Um, I carry, I use a uh, paper towel, and you'll see why here in a minute. So I grab a rat, I take a look at it, I brush it out. I know that it's all good to go. I sharpen up my knife. I use a six inch boning knife, it's a Dexter. Uh, you're gonna start in the inside heel, go straight across. The nice long knife allows you to poke out the other side. Come straight down, up the leg, make a cut. Around each leg, cut. You're gonna cut up from the vent, you'll disconnect the anus. Come up, if it's a male, you'll knock the beset off. And the rest I do with my hands. I just skin around each foot or leg. This rat was here last night. It had to dry. And it's been warm. I mean, it's like 60, I don't know, 60 some odd degrees out. We're in October. This is unheard of. So I expect some of them to have green belly. I just don't hope it's not that bad. Let's see here. No, it's not bad at all. As long as you keep them on their back and air circulating on them, they're easy to, they're pretty good to go. So, get the hide to that point. Oops, I'm ripping here on the side. That's why you wear the apron. You're going to get, you're going to get filthy. I mean, there's no two ways about it. But if you want to catch a lot, you got to skin a lot. You know, you really have to get this down to a science. That's the one leg. I pull the leg out. Pull the other leg out. I flip the rat over. Right up here you have two little white spots. That's his ears. Knock a cut there and a cut there. His ears are done. Come up there are two little spots there for his eyes. Right off the eyes are the corner of the mouth. So good reference points to remember. Oops, I knocked a hole there. If you do do that, you knock a hole in it like that, just remember. They don't buy eyes, they buy the back. And they're actually going to not going to deduct you and then I pull I pull the whole thing right off that's what I have left that goes in a five gallon pail because that's going to go down back I wipe my board off I wipe off my rat I spin it around knock it out and bada boom bada bing we're done that's what we're trapping for see how pretty that is and that's basically it and you just repeat that process until you get, you know, everything done. I usually knock all the hides off and then I'll freeze them just because I'm going to have to work the next couple days. So I throw them in the freezer. The hardest part is you, you want to make sure that you, that, eat, that the rats are dry when you skin them. Um, if you don't, they'll rot um, if you try to stretch them wet. So you want to, usually what I do is I put the fan on it like I have over here. The fan goes on that. These rats, these came in today and these are dry. You can see they're starting to dry and if they're not, Oops, and if they're not dry, you know, you just keep fluffing them up until they are dry. Um, and as long as you keep them on their back, like this guy's not on his back. If you keep them on their back, they uh, the stomach acid won't come through and you won't get green belly. But these are some big rats in here, so we'll set them all up and get them done.